time, and as we know, these are tough times right now, but we also know there are still people out on the front lines playing through the pain for us, and Seven salutes them. Let us, uh, let's bring in now Tony Burchard, president of the Virginia Hospital Center Foundation. Tony, great to have you here with us this morning. Um, talk about how challenging this time has been for healthcare workers around the nation, and how the community is really stepping up in a big way. Thanks. Good morning, Adriana. Yes, it's been a tough time here in uh, the metropolitan Washington, D.C. market. Uh, we've uh, been about 10 weeks into this pandemic, and there's no doubt that um, our folks um, have been putting their best foot forward. But I would have to say that it's the support of the community that's been fantastic and uh, kept their spirits high. Uh, there's been gifts of food, donated PPE. Um, all these things has been, have been helpful and keeping our health, local health care workers um, engaged and in good spirits. And it's my understanding the VHC Foundation has partnered with community members running a GoFundMe campaign. Can you tell us about that? Well, um, in fact, it's really uh, been the community that's done that, um, not the hospital or the foundation. And uh, we've been very, very uh, encouraged by the support of the community. Uh, those dollars have made it possible to keep the folks um, certainly well fed. Uh, there's been donated PPE, thousands of dollars of donated PPE, um, as well as people have supported the Protect the Heroes campaign, which is a national campaign. So then how can viewers show their support? Well, uh, number one, um, if you know a healthcare worker, reach out to them and, and express your gratitude. I would say that's the best thing. But secondly, a financial contribution through Protect the Heroes uh, campaign it goes right to your local community hospital. If you're not sure which hospital it is, you put in your zip code and your local hospital pops up. And then finally, I would say go to your healthcare provider. If you've been putting off a procedure, please do not do that any longer. The hospitals are safe. Go get your healthcare taken care of. And last question for you, is there a message from healthcare workers to our viewers that they really want people to know and understand? It's, it's thank you. Please keep supporting us. Please stay safe. Follow the guidelines. Wear your masks. Wash your hands. Social distance. We'll get through this together. All right, Tony, thank you so much for your time. We certainly appreciate it. Be well and be safe. You too. Thank you so much.